Oh, hey there, guys. So, uh, today is Rabbit Hutch building. Kind of just going with it. I think I probably need to sketch it out because I got it in my head, but if I don't sketch it out, <laughs> I can't always articulate exactly how I want it done. But so, what we've decided is on the back side here, there's a flat spot because if you, I know it's kind of hard to tell, but there are steps that lead down the basement. And so we thought this would be a good spot to put the rabbit hutch. It's in, we need three separate compartments because we have two does and a buck coming. So I think this should work. And when the corn, which actually is all popping, both rows of corn are popping. So when the corn grows, it is going to provide shade onto the rabbit hutch. And at least that's my thinking. Um, and I'm sorry, I, I'm, allergies are kicking my wazoo. So I am sneezing and it's been this way the, the whole week. But um, so that's what we're going to do today is build the rabbit hutch. And we went to town and got, you know, you always have to drop a hefty dime when you're adding something, but hopefully not a perpetual expense but had to get uh waters feeders and we were actually out of two by fours we did not have enough scrap so what we're going to be doing is ripping down um some two by fours so kind of like we did with the mini cooper and it's going to be real close to the mini cooper but not quite so uh, that's what we're going to be working on today right babe absolutely what yeah. she said yeah so I'm gonna have to go find my dirt diary in the greenhouse and uh, sketch this out so that Jason knows and isn't flying free with just what I'm trying to explain. <laughs> I don't know if it'll work or not because I want to design it that it has an automatic poop chute to go to a five gallon bucket. So, ooh, which actually will need my little framing nailer too, or my little, uh, Probably the small sized Brad Nailer pneumatic gun. My one, because I'll need that to do the poop shoot. Which, what? I gotta think of where it is, where <laughs> nails are. So, uh, that's what we're gonna go with. Well, hello there. So, um,. When designing this, I think we, I went and I got our, uh, like our homesteading build it better yourself book. And they had a design in here for a rabbit hutch uh, for three does. And even though we're gonna have two does and a buck, um, I think that'll work. So we're just, we're gonna go with it. We're gonna follow the directions in here and see where it leads us. So first we need to cut four 36 inch two by fours for the legs. So that's what we're doing right now. Modify this. Yeah, I wanna modify this a little bit. Um, I'd honestly prefer, instead of a pitched roof like this has it here, I'd rather do a roof like we did on the Mini Cooper where the whole thing lifts up instead of removable boxes off the back. All right, so then next, we need to rip down all these other two by fours into two by twos. Uh, and then we can start cutting the lengths. Kind of nice having this book. I like, don't have to figure anything out. It's just like, oh, right there. So I'm going to put the book down and we'll get these ripped. Yeah. 
find your measuring or guide or okay tell me how many to cut the rear and how to cut the rear and... all right so we need three pieces at 88 and 3 eighths because yeah i'm the roof line i think we're going to do different because i don't really want to have that many doors on the front i think if we just have to lift up a lift up roof like we do on the Mini Cooper, it's going to be so much easier. So, oh shoot, I almost fell. <laughs> All right, flush me up down there, Tipsy Turvy. Oh, we got to go way down. Hold on, let me figure out how to work this thing. Be smarter than the equipment. Okay. These, I'm struggling today i heard the bus horn it went <laughs> and you waved on it while you're going on it all right i'm flush <laughs> two pieces at 42 and a half One at 39 and a half. We might not have gotten enough. Is he right on it? And then eight pieces at 23 okay. inches. All right, so we're gonna assemble the base. Start to assemble the base. Uh, we're gonna do it on the ground and we'll see how it goes. So we will need to router out or cut out little notches. So we'll get to that, but just following the directions. Well, and they don't give you the measurements of where to do the router notch out. It's where the two boards cross. So what we'll do is assemble it. I see how to do it. We're gonna do the one cross member, but then we'll have to lay the other, the third long one across and mark both sides. Right. Right. Okay. So we're gonna glue and screw. Dab where that's gonna go. Got it where you want it? Sure. Right here? Mm hmm. Good. No dab will do ya. Good? Sure. center of it. What were these pieces? 42 and a half. So 41 and 
quarter. 21 and a quarter? Oh, uh, yeah. So, mm, I'm going to shoot at 92, oh, at 92, so an eighth off of 46. We shouldn't have let them out. All the fives. Get out of here. He's like, save me. Yeah, we had a little break there. The we let the little roosters out in with the hens because they got out accidentally one day and they, and they did great but today they just seemed to get bullied so we caught them really quick put them back in gave them fresh water but now mama's cleaning up where they kick it out at the door i need to build a better lip on the inside front there so that's what we're doing right this second okay back on task so uh, we're getting ready to do the center section and we'll have to notch out. Uh, but it seems to be going together fairly simple. We're following the directions in the book. Uh, it's going along great. Are we centered on that, Jake? Yeah. I'll go throw him some scratch on the... Well, it'll be on the... Bottom, I don't think it should. Well, I guess we'll find out if it's too wrong. Like. So it's hardware cloth next? Yeah. All right, so we, <laughs> we took a quick lunch break and uh, had to empty the card because an SD card was full. Uh, got that done. I lost some footage because I thought it was done and I went and I deleted all the, everything off the SD card. What did I do? You stole the pencil and it's, didn't get the back. It's there. Alright, so we're going to keep going here. <laughs> guys well we were making good time when we were following the book and had all of our dimensions and everything cut uh, exactly but got slowed down when we had to modify it for our own needs and whatever so um, not gonna get it finished today which it's whatever but now we're fighting rain <laughs> so we're gonna call it for tonight um, We'll pick back up in the morning or in between rain showers tomorrow. So uh, stay tuned. We'll get her done. Kind of sucks that we had to use new material though, but we'll figure it out. Just so that we can get the table saw and the chop saw. We're back. Again.
there's a song to that, but yeah. I will save you the details of me singing it. So <clears throat> it's a day we're not, uh, really late getting started, but we had a veterans thing that we had to attend this morning or that we wanted to attend this morning and met some really super cool people. Uh, drove around to see the other side of the lake that we haven't done yet. Uh, Spot in a campground. We, yeah. Until we can get our RV site done, you know, for extra guests around here. It was like, hey, if someone wanted to come visit. Where would they stay? Right. So. Like the closest campground. And I'd seen it online. It's through Army Corps Engineers. Uh, really inexpensive. Yeah, really nice too. what it was. So we checked it out because it was also a part of the lake and part of town we hadn't been in. So. Yeah. So, but, uh. So we're back on the bunny hutch. Jake's here. I'm here. Jason's here. But I'm gonna be splitting my time between laundry because uh, yeah, we have a lot of laundry. And uh, hopefully we can get the bunny hutch. Don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm gonna hand the camera over to it's gonna be my handsome man here. And he's gonna take you down and uh, get started on that. That was my egg collection today. So, all right, see you in a bit. Um, why? Stop. She loves it. All right, I don't know what we're gonna do. She said bunny huts. We're gonna build a bunny hut. We'll see. Okay, so I wasn't paying attention and didn't turn the camera on. We mounted the front face. So these doors, simple, just gonna go up there. We have, we only had two of these hasp ones. So, or two of these style. Um, but then I, I put these in temporarily, which is kind of helping anyway, so they'll spin over and be able to hold the door shut. So that's with the front on. We're about to cut the side pieces right now. Okay, so we just have the plywood on there right now. I wanna wait on mama to come down and we did a little overhang there. We're gonna put metal on it, but they'll have a dough, a buck in the middle and a dough over there. And of course these close up. So little curious as to if they're gonna have enough ventilation we may end up having to cut holes like in the sides i want to try to leave the back so that they have a totally enclosed can't get wet area but maybe the sides towards the front we might end up putting uh just cutting holes and putting hardware cloth over it maybe i don't know i mean they're gonna get a lot of ventilation from underneath they'll be protected in the shade so we're gonna see i mean first time rabbiters right is that i don't know we're just we're going into this thing like full bore so we'll see oh shh don't tell her what i said about her just let her come over here and supervise why must you talk about me? they might think we're a divided front instead of a Jessica will appreciate my fashion sense today. It's but laundry day? Doesn't doesn't that count? <laughs> that looks really good, guys. Looks really good. That's a little high or a little low for our buck. He might 
if he wants to get a little frisky, he may chop over that. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. This is way bigger than the rabbit hutch I had up north. So, but it looks amazing. Well, and what I was saying too earlier was we may end up, because this is really boxed in compared to all the rabbit hutches that we've been looking at. You know, like pretty much everybody keeps their rabbits in just wide open. Well, they're in just open mess. cages, but they're not. They have a roof, they're, yeah, they're, but they're open they're... cages all the way around. So this one, they're basically blocked on three sides. Now it's got ventilation will come in through the roof. The floor's open, except for in the back where they'll have their little yeah, nesting we'll box. Put a little area back there to hold in the sawdust. Right. We'll have to add a lip of some mm -hmm. sort onto that. but Or just be able to throw hay. I mean, if we're going to do just a separate nesting box that we just put in there when... Mm -hmm. So... Yeah, I'm not sure yet. Maybe Trial and error, I guess. Maybe we'll... Kaniki will have some ideas for us. That is beautiful. I think y'all did a great job. Well, we did a great job, but y'all finished it up. I like the wood latch idea, but there's no way to really lock them, lock them in that, so. Oh, I've always been a fan of the wood latch because it's free. <laughs> right. Well, we need to modify those a little bit, but. Uh -oh. Okay, that's a little tight. That's all right, though. I'd, I'd rather have it tight. This one works a little better. We adjusted yeah. this side, so. I mean, I think that's way overkill for square footage for what one doe and a possible litter of 10 would need. I think. I mean, I, guess I mean, that box is three foot wide and I'm roughly almost three feet. Deep. Three, yeah, it's more than a little over three foot deep. So, I mean, there. So I didn't figure Buck would need. He don't have, he's not going to have any kits. So he doesn't need as much space, but. Hmm. I don't know. I think it's good. It great. goes through all the animal genders. The men get the little space, just a little bit. You only need a little bit. And women get all the closet. We I, see how I can it works. put a little fake laptop in here. Be a little gamer buck, no? Oh. I need to get her back to work, y'all. Okay, so upon the boss's guidance, our gap at the top. Bring you in a second. So we have this gap between, I guess you can't see it, can you? Here and here. It's a pretty good gap. So we're worried that they'll be able to cross. So what we're gonna do um, also at the bottom, which I know I got chicken wire in there. Down here's got a little flex and you can see we can go underneath. So what I'm gonna try to do, and what y'all can halfway witness, so I'm going to take this partial thing of chicken wire and try to staple it in there where we want it so I know where to cut it. And yeah. So, wish me luck. I'm going in. Well, I'm not very good with this stapler, evidently. Just one. This one only holds one. Reload. Engaged. Okay. Whose idea was it to build this so far back? Oh. I need a step stool or something. What do we got? A step stool. <laughs> oh, there's a step ladder. <laughs> Ask and you shall find it laying on the homestead somewhere. Oh, evidently I'm not qualifying at the staple gun range. We're going up here, folks. I just stapled it to the roof and then to that wall panel. So what I'm going to do right now is try to J-clip down here to connect the chicken wire to the hardware cloth. I'll cut the part off that goes to the plywood. And then once it's J-clipped along this seam, we'll cut the rest of that out. It's like making things marine proof. We gotta make sure all the pokies are put away or they're gonna hurt themselves. <laughs> I brought you a big tall glass of ice water. And I thought you might be thirsty. 
Oh, she's not totally one way anymore. Proud of you. Oh man, now this job can really get done. If I, pay you if I can figure out how to use a J clip tool machine. Jake, did you ever think you'd be doing stuff like this? Is this on your life goal plan? No, not really. Why not? Yeah. True question is gonna be, you're gonna eat all this stuff when we process it, right? I imagine I probably will. It's gotta be better than that frozen crap you eat from Walmart. We should do an interview of Jake. What's his life goals? I'm gonna make that a video, Jake. I bet they'd watch it. That ain't gonna be very long. Goal number one, survive. Well, that's part of this stuff though, ain't it? I mean, what are you gonna do when they EMP everything and electronics are gone? You have to wake up with the sun, go to sleep with the moon. You're gonna have to eat some house. And isn't it better knowing where your food comes from? Oh yeah. Okay, so Jake's making a lot of noise. Um, we got the other side stapled up, so both sides have the chicken wire divider. And I'm just gonna go ahead and probably overkill, but we know we're using um, the old metal stuff that we've had and had holes in it. So more to protect the wood, uh, so it'll last a little longer. And we have the tar paper. We kind of overbought when we were doing Jake's place. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this rolled out on here and. This will be buttoned up for now. Uh, kind of losing daylight, so don't think I'm going to get to cut and metal today. But yeah, I think it's coming out pretty good. We went ahead and, and with these, same deal, just stapled it up just a little bit up onto the ceiling, come down, and then just use those. I don't know if you can pick it up, but. That's these little J clips. And so that way they can't. It's more for when they start having their kits, their little babies, little baby bunnies, they can't get up underneath there. Or as the mature rabbits, they'll dip this down. So if we have to, we'll come back and I'll put a brace underneath from there to here to hold the wire up. Um, but I think, I think what we're doing is going to work okay. We'll find out. So, I'm just going to throw some tar paper on there. Put our tools away. Call it a day. So, we'll come back on the next one and probably finish this up tomorrow. Uh, I think we're meeting up with our rabbit lady possibly tomorrow afternoon to get the rabbits. So, if that's there, you'll come along. Alright, we'll see you.